a very short vlog and update about the AM radio that I'm working on. Uh, here you can see the first stage, the front end, and that is visible in many thumbnails on my YouTube channel. Uh, perhaps interesting to show uh, what I'm working on. This is at first the uh, low frequency amplifier here with two transistors. Standard schematic uh, is on my YouTube channel and I will give the link. And here in this schematic how I say made the connections to the loudspeaker and the headphone. Loudspeaker is necessary, the headphone is of course necessary. And when you look here it is a 32 ohms speaker. But you can also use a 4 ohm speaker or an 8 ohm loudspeaker anyway. The resistors here, uh, the only aim is say to prevent that the audio amplifier gets shortcut to ground. Uh, it's not critical by the way, even when it gets shortcut to ground, we have a circuit that works on approximately 12 volts. And well, that will be no problem. The maximum current that this transformer, the power transformer, sorry, the uh, supply transformer can give is 350 milliampere. That's not much. So anyway, no worries. This is by the way a good, uh, say, schematic. Anyway, the second schematic that I wanted to show is the power supply. You can see here. Two capacitors of 407, sorry, 4700 microfarad. They are bridged um, with a resistor in this case of 270,000 ohms and a capacitor of non-polar capacitor of 100 nanofarad here. Uh, the aim is to keep, uh, say, uh, disturbing signals away from the power supply. They are shortcut to Earth with the help of that 100 nanofarad capacitor. And here is say the first setup of the power supply. And the schematic is here again. It's very simple. Normally I use here a 2 and 3055 and here a BD. 139 that's a medium power NPN transistor but now I use a PD139 as N transistor and a, a BC547B as driver transistor. The total amplification sets the effect of the capacitor that is seen by the electronic circuit that is connected here. I have explained it many times but anyway uh, I did not use earlier a BD139 and uh, say um, BC547B as driver transistor. It's also a, a very effective hum suppressor. I've talked uh, in many videos about that. This capacitor sets the hum suppression, could be 470 microfarad or 100 microfarad. Etc. So this is only the drawing and perhaps interesting to show when you make such a circuit, uh, this is the heat sink by the way, it's in this case copper, could also be aluminum and when you make such a circuit it's perhaps a good idea to always indicate where the base, the collector and the emitter is. So that when you flip your transistor circuit over, and I do that now, I flip it over, I flipped it over. Uh, here it is emitter collector base in this direction, but when it is flipped over it's base collector emitter. That seems kind of stupid, uh, but when you do these kinds of hard wired um, electronic circuits, old school, so no printed circuits, etc, etc. This is, say, a good advice. Uh, here's the driver transistor, the BC547B. Here is the N transistor. Uh, 
they will be mounted here on this board somewhere and the heatsink is not extremely big because of the fact that uh, even in a shortcut situation that transistor doesn't have to dis dissipate much it can surely handle the BD139 can surely handle uh, say 3 watt or 4 watt that was everything to tell I don't want to make it too long power supply that I'm working on the schematic again. Thanks for watching.